Hey you guys, um, it's Callie here with uh, your review for the Screw Tape Letters quiz that you guys are gonna have next Monday. Now, this week, hopefully within the next few days, you are already working on completing the test um, online in Toolbox, and you're also working on completing your project if you have not done that yet. Um, my goal, and I emailed this to everyone, is for you to have everything turned in Monday next week, and then I can have all of your grades ready by Friday. Now, with that being said, I'll be caught up on past grades uh, probably tomorrow, maybe Wednesday at the latest, um, especially if you guys get that test done, I can enter that grade in. Uh, but I'm gonna have a really short, quick quiz for you to take on Monday next week. We will have a Zoom meeting class that will be short just to kind of wrap things up. But um, but then I'll open up in Toolbox the quiz for you to take over this. Okay, so uh, like I said earlier, this is not going to be super difficult. It really is just to make sure that you grasped everything that was going on in screw tape letters. So here we go. Uh, you oh, There's not a study guide. Just take notes as I'm talking, look over them a couple of times, and you'll ace the quiz, okay? Okay. Uh, why does Lewis, C.S. Lewis, the author, uh, why does he contend that authors and scholars are least likely to learn from thinkers in the past? And the answer to that is because usually the public actually expects them to discover new things. So, um, so again, Lewis, he contends that scholars... Uh, are least likely to learn um, from thinkers of the past because they're constantly looking for new discoveries. Um, Lewis, uh, or in this case, what does Lewis think has replaced spectacular sinning as the surest road to hell in the, in the letters? And essentially the answer is cultural numbness. Um, what preference by God does screw tape view as nonsense? And, um, and that's unity and diversity. And um, then also, what does Lewis label Christianity attached only to its own unchanging precepts? Now, this is one of those questions that the words are big and it sounds complicated, um, but it's also the, uh, the phrase mere Christianity that is the answer I'm looking for. And my best way to explain understanding this question is that as complicated as it sounds, um, the title Mirror Christianity and its simplicity uh, contradicts that. And that's how you can know that that's the correct answer. Essentially, um, this idea of unchanging precepts is, sounds complicated, but it actually is simple. Um, mirror Christianity. What does Lewis advise is the outcome of a lack of commitment to important matters. And um, essentially, it's a strong possibility of failure. The fact that um, there's a strong possibility that someone uh, will not succeed. What does screw tape think is the best not to have a person die young? Uh, or why does, I think I said that right, why does he think it's uh, not the best to have a person die young? And essentially, it's that as someone grows old, there are going to be disappointments in life, and that will pull them away from their faith. Um, what does Wormwood's fate illustrate? And um, it is eat or be eaten, uh, as far as the world is concerned, and that um, the world should be run by hell. Uh, why is perversion a useful tool for the fiend, or for the demons in this case? And essentially, um, perversion, it diverts a person's thinking um, about marriage and about um, purity. Uh, what has Screwtape learned in corresponding with Slum Trumpet, the girlfriend's demon, just so you know who that is? Um, and that's that uh, he's, he's learned that she's innocently naive about any faith or version um, to accept her own. So again, I can't emphasize this enough. It's gonna be a quick, all multiple choice question quiz. Um, and the answers really, um, while they might sound complicated, if you read the book, then you should be fine. Uh, what is Screwtape's response to whether it is desirable for a patient to be in love? 
And his answer is that it's neither desirable or undesirable. Um, it's only useful if it can corrupt the patient. What does, sorry, my dog just is going berserk. Um, what does screw tape mention is a devil's delight and will consistently provide a good supply of humans. And um, it's that Christians that hate one another due to denomination or uh, ritual differences that um, they won't actually believe. Like those are the people that they want to go after because they're more concerned with tradition uh, than their actual relationship with Jesus. So what does screw tape offer Wormwood as proof that God is vulgar? And the answer to that one is that he has filled the world with pleasure. Um, it is one of those things that is twisted by the demons. What is screw tape's view of the patient's new girl? Essentially that she's dim-witted and that she's easily manipulated. Um, what does Lewis think, the author Lewis think, is the key to human dignity? And essentially, it's to center your thoughts on God. Now, that is all. Those are all of the questions. If you were taking notes, luckily, I'm recording this so that you can go back and look at them or watch uh, and keep notes if you need to. Um, I'm looking just to make sure that I'm right. Yeah, there are 14 questions. And then I have a 15th question that is a short answer, one paragraph answer. And um, you get to choose which question essay question, and it's not really an essay question. You get to choose which issue from the book you want to address. And again, one paragraph, that's all you're writing at the end of the test or quiz, sorry, your, your quiz, um, and you're done because your project grade is going to be your test grade. This is gonna be a quiz grade. Uh, if you have any questions this week, please feel free to text or email me. Make sure you get caught up with your work and turn all of it in. I am going to be working uh, to get all of your grades in. I feel somewhat caught up. Um, I know that I have a few things sending an email that I've gotten the last day or two that I haven't put in yet, but if you will get that to me, I will get it uh, plugged in as far as your grades are concerned. If there's anything that's in grade book that you find that's missing that you're like, oh, I turned that in, email it to me or just make a note, uh, send it, send me a text and say, hey, I didn't see a grade for this assignment and, um, and send it to me because I am trying so hard to flag everything that is from you guys and get it plugged in as fast as possible so don't lose it. But at the same time, when you get a bunch of emails every day, uh, sometimes they can get uh, hidden amongst all of the other emails. So uh, please just have some grace with me. I'll have some grace with you. And like I said, um, hopefully we will have everything tied up into a pretty bow uh, by May 1st. That's next Friday. And um, if, like I said, you have any questions, please let me know. I would love to help you. And I hope you have a great week. Talk to you later.